Cardi B shit. If you don't know, now they know. If you don't know, now they know. I'm gonna go in a ghost. You can't catch me if you try, but you blowing on cookie. You know, I stay in it. You see what Randy Moss said about uh, being the best receiver? No, what'd he say? No, I'm, I, I was curious. I just seen that shit. Oh, well, I know. Today I know I kind of seen on him. On my alert shit, but I ain't watched the I video. I kind of seen him it. doing the podcast with uh, T.O. Yeah, yeah. So if he said that why they did the podcast, the only thing I seen that I didn't watch the full video was when Randy Moss was asking T.O. about um, did he ever mingle with his quarterbacks. First he said, out of all the quarterbacks you had in your pro career, what would you give the grade, you know what I'm saying, of, you know, all together in totality. And he was like, he gave about a letter, I think he said C plus B, no, B plus. And then he just went down the names. He's like, I didn't have Joe Montana. I think he said he had Steve Young, but at the end. Um, but he had, what was that other white boy? Garcia. Uh, excuse look, me. Look, look, that Don't, was, that uh, was too much. What? I said that was too much. No, it wasn't. That was real life. Just in my ears, though. I got the headphones on. Well, about time you could hear me. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, settle down. Hey, tell her to turn that off. The heat. <laughs> Wait, did we laugh about me saying I just wanted one beer? Yep. You changed it from your original. So I oh, guess but I remember why I changed it. So I guess you're done. Whoever made the impact of the game. <laughs> Nigga, what? I love the how much people got to give when you're on a, a, um, when you're in their face. You know what I'm saying? You got to throw them in there or else you like, that just look like fucked up. Oh, yeah. Like, if he would have been like, you know, T.O. somewhere in there. Like, well, shout out. Yeah. Shout out to the Terrell on podcast for sure. Was. But, uh, no, nigga, I'm sorry, Randy Moss. The best wide receiver <laughs> of all time is Jerry Rice. And it just don't – it don't compare. And like I said, the impact – Jerry Rice didn't have an impact? Was I confused? I mean, I know I, I mean, wasn't paying attention to football like that. I was going to say, let the world tell it, because he was a little before my time of me watching football. I think I started watching it like – the, my first wide receiver that I was watching was the Green Bay Packers. So it was Antonio Freeman, Robert Brooks, and shit like that. And I think Jerry Rice probably was with the Raiders at that time or some shit like that when he was, like, really old, if he was still in the NFL. But let the stories tell it. Yeah, Jerry was that dog. Now, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It could be the whole, you know how they say, old niggas like Michael Jordan or you do – then you got the, the younger niggas who like Kobe and now the new niggas, they love LeBron. So it might be some shit like that. Like, I just ain't watched Jerry that much. But from all the stories I hear, he was he was that he was that beast. But, I mean. That's all I'm saying. And then the the numbers, the numbers, they just, it just don't compare. Did you, I mean, I don't know. After that one video that you showed me or that uh, when Thanksgiving hit, and uh, they showed uh, three catches, three touchdowns, 200-something yards or some shit that he did. Uh, Randy Moss with, with Dante. Was it? No, was that Dante Culpepper? It might have been Cunningham. I'm not sure. But whatever it was, Randy, Randy had like three catches and like 200 yards, three touchdowns on Thanksgiving. So, I don't know, man. I would say Randy Moss is up there. Like, him saying he won, I don't – like. He I talking about that. he over Terrell Owens and Jerry Rice. He was over in my book. He was over Terrell Owens, as he should be. I think so too, right? So I so that's just me personally. But um, and I didn't even I didn't even like Randy Moss. Like to be honest, he played for the Vikings. I that was ugh. but and I like did I like something? I like Steve Young. I ain't gonna sound like um. Terrell Owens. I guess I did see Jerry Rice a little bit because wasn't Jerry Rice with Terrell Owens for a minute? 
I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah, I think but that would, would be before my time. I would have to look that up. Yeah, too. but I think Jerry Rice and T.O. was there in San Francisco for a minute. But uh, yeah, I, I can't, I can't dispute that. I feel like, I feel like that's like LeBron saying he better than Mike. Randy could say he better than Jerry. Nah, Jerry. No, he can't. The difference between the difference between Michael <coughs> Jordan. I mean, the, the basketball and the football thing is LeBron at least got rings. You know what I'm saying? So Jerry Rice, he got rings. Twenty one seasons. To Randy Moss's fourteen seasons, one thousand five hundred and forty nine receptions. To Randy's nine hundred and eighty two. But now that's like that's like another wait, long, wait, just long, wait. longevity though. I mean, I'm with. Hey, he kept playing. He was sweeter than you. He kept playing. Why well, didn't Randy keep playing? Because oh, you talking about Randy right now? That's not to yo. No, this is Jerry Rice versus Randy Rice Moss. Randy Moss. Let's see what was Randy Moss recently stopped. I forgot. 22,895 yards versus 15,292. 197 touchdowns to 156. I mean, you can really stop. Three Super Bowl wins to zero Super Bowl Once wins. you show the years of them playing, like. One Super Bowl MVP. Up. No Super Bowl MVPs. Look, look. He's not the greatest of all time. We can't do the yards and touchdowns because he clearly had more years to play. But still, if we go off of what Randy Moss said and that impact and shit. And Jerry Rice was the receiver playing in the era where it was just run the football. Run it, run it, run it. Or you Correct say- me if I'm wrong about that one. Now, that part I remember. Uh, You could say... He played in the era where it was rough, more rough. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, definitely more rough, but I believe they was like more run heavy. It was. A well, run I mean, heavy it league. depended on the team. You know, not every team. It wasn't had what that you see back. now. That's because there's more rules where you can't touch the quarterback. Like you know what I'm saying? They didn't want to get their quarterbacks hurt. So back hurt. then, the quarterbacks was getting popped. Yeah. And Jerry Rice got so all these. So it was stats. safer. It was safer to hey bitch. <laughs> Take this, cause I'm not trying to get hit. So you on so they Johnny United style, break so, all that shit. So what you saying on on record is that they was baby and Brett Favre. Wait, whoa, slow down. Cause the ga- <laughs> first of all, cause the game got soft. All, the game got soft first later. First of all, right? you about to make me get emotional. I don't even and know then, how that happened. And then Brett Favre was the one throwing Randy Moss the ball. Brett Favre right? by far is my favorite football player in the fucking world. And but he was on no Minnesota shit. too. So why you don't like Randy Moss? Cause he, he said, was what? on Minnesota. But Brett Favre, that was later years, man. That's like Michael Jordan Wizards. We don't count that. Oh, my bad. Where was he before that? Green the fuck Bay. Don't do that. And you like Green Bay. Nigga, I loved Green Bay. Okay. They whatever. I guess. I I love Green Bay. Nigga. But Brett Favre was throwing the ball to Randy Moss. No, the fuck he wasn't. Brett Favre was. No, he wasn't. It was one year. No, he was not. I swear to God. Randy was gone, nigga. Okay. He wasn't. (laughs) So who was throwing Randy the ball? Who was throwing Randy the ball? Who, Dante Cole he, Pepper was throwing them the ball. I think Cunningham. I think that's who they were saying threw him the ball. Terry, not Terry. What's that nigga name? <laughs> Tom Brady threw that nigga the ball. Yep. Uh, that was when he was on the Patriots. Yeah. So what teams did he play? Vikings, Patriots. Was he it was another team? The, he was on the Minnesota Vikings. Right. From '98 to 2004. Cole Pepper and uh, Cunningham. Keep going. And then the Oakland Raiders, 05 to 06. Then the Patriots, uh, 07 to 10. Then back on Minnesota Vikings for 2010. Tennessee Titans to 2010. Tennessee Titans? That's what it's saying. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was a Tennessee Titans fan, so I don't know where the fuck he did that. He was with Steve McNair? Or was Steve McNair shot? I don't know what. I don't know how to go back and look. Mm. But no, nigga. I'm about to show you right now. As soon as I read. All I'm saying is, like you said, well, like he said, if we're going by impact, nigga, your impact couldn't have been that great if you didn't get a Super Bowl. And then when you had the greatest chance to have an impact when you was with Tom Brady, you didn't get a Super Bowl. So by that by that definition alone, Jerry was better than you. But, I mean, <sighs> Randy was a beast, though. And he got beat. He got beat in a Super Bowl, so that make it worse. Like if I had a if I had a video game and I had a chance to have a wide receiver, if I had either have Calvin, Randy, or Jerry, I would pick Calvin. What Megatron, nigga? Oh yeah, 
Megatron, oh, you had to go back and look at his stats. He his stats might be better than fucking Randy. And he don't have a Super Bowl either, but his impact on the game was serious. If we talking about impact, so yeah, I would, you know, like I said, I don't, I wasn't watching Jerry like that. But then you got to think about it again. You know, every sport that we watch back in the day, it was in 2010. I told you. Who Brett Favre? Yeah, Brett Favre did not play with motherfucking Randy Moss. He was on the Minnesota Vikings from 2009 to 2010. Randy Moss is on Minnesota Vikings 2010. That's Brett left. No, Randy left. Look, man. All I'm saying is this. He went to the Oakland Raiders, or not the Oakland Raiders. He went to the Tennessee Titans. And I'm not saying that, I'm not saying, because it was still a rough sport when Randy was playing. Like, it's getting softer and softer by the year. I'm just saying, in Jerry's prime, when it was just him and Joe Montana, Oh, yeah, that was getting down like Willie on these niggas. But, you know, so Brett Favre years, oh, no, they was they was still aggressive. But Brett was that guy. He didn't give a fuck. He was just, you know, he had run out the pocket, get hit, throw interceptions. He didn't give a fuck. So that's all I got to say about that. Randy Moss got more. He got better stats for sure. But if Megatron keep playing. Oh, yeah, well. You know, you know what we do in Detroit. We get rid of our greats, make them want to retire no early, matter what. Early, <laughs> early, <laughs> or all of them early. Dude. Like no, I'm out. I'm out. That's no. why they. That's why they trying to keep Stafford. Like he not a great to me, but you know he's the one. You know, good little shining light we got that we he, kept longer than what we should have. He a B plus with the potential to play like an A minus quarterback. Like they say, he gonna fuck be, around, go to another team, and, and possibly be a Super Bowl contender because. If you he put could. good things around that nigga, like all around him, and then, then, it, and yeah. then it's over. Like let him play with Tennessee, where uh, where old boy at? Uh, what's that nigga name? Tannehill. Yeah, he'll be a beast Tannehill. out there. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. He over there balling though. But that's what happens, nigga. Like they say, sometimes it's really the team It'd and the people situation. you got around that nigga. Because yeah. the Dolphins, they said he was gonna be sweet, and then he was like, mm, not so much. And then they gave up on the nigga, and then he was like. Just blew up. First year they said Derrick Henry was the reason, which he was. But then the second year they was like, "Look, man, you have to see this nigga is balling. Like he is really throwing that bitch. He's slanging that bitch." And they still, they still contenders. I don't think they won as much games as many games as they did last year, but they still out there. You know what I'm saying? They still going. They, they, they're a force to be reckoned with. So that is true. I fuck with, I fuck with that resurgence in, in your career, getting your shit. You know, just re, rejuvenate your shit. You ain't got to be sucky all your life. I wish we could do some shit like that, but you see the Browns, even the, even the Browns got better. Like every even the Dolphins hey, got better. Like they hey, got, the Dolphins is the worst team in that the division. The Cardinals got better. The worst team in that division is the New England Patriots. No. Oh, Let's talk ain't about that it. Let's ain't talk God about good? It. Josh, <laughs> Josh, the Bills have gotten better and the oh, Bills look like they Super Bowl bound. Every team is better they now. They look dog. like they Super Bowl oh. bound. All they got to do is beat the Chiefs. Let me see. The only team that's, that's still it. whack is the Jets. Yeah. Us, the Jets. <laughs> we them boys. <laughs> hold up, hold up. We them boys. Who else whack? Mm. Jacksonville. <sighs> Tampa Bay. Mm. No, they got a no, Super Bowl got last year. No, or either. last decade in the 90s, right? Yeah, with the motherfucking uh, so, Bradshaw or some shit. I just, all right. Um, no. Oh, no, the other nigga. <clears throat> so we got us, the Jets, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars. But they came later, like, uh, you know, later on, so can't really hold them. Uh, Nope, not them. They got damn. Yeah, we talking about teams that's been in the in the motherfucker for, for years. So we got to go with uh, Cincinnati. They suck. Cincinnati ain't ever show. Sure. <laughs> like uh, they got rid of Marvin Lewis after twenty two years or whatever how long he was there and like, you know, and they still suck. Um, <laughs> I can't even think of teams right now. We them boys. The Washington Redskins. They suck, but the Washington team, football team, now. Nah. I know. I'm I was talking about them. The Washington football team look way better than the Washington Redskins. Uh, definitely. All they gotta do is stop being racist and look at look at look at God work. Mm-hmm. But fuck all that, man. I think that's it, though. 
Arizona, but they if they get sweet now. they getting better. Yeah, yeah. They, I'm just no, talking. Sweet now. I'm just talking about the teams that is trash that wasn't doing nothing. They getting better. Yeah, no, I can't put them in there. You can't put what? Not the Arizona. You right? I won't put Arizona in there. Um, yeah, they sweet as fuck. Huh? They was ass bag, nigga. I, like you said, the Jets. Washington what have the Texans team. done? Texans came out sweet though. So now they just got whack, and it's because of coaching and management. So we okay. can't count them. Once they get back and and get a <clears throat> wide receiver, hopefully not. I mean, won't be duplicate of uh, Hopkins, but if they get just somebody, you know, almost close to that, they'll be sweet again. Because Deshaun is a monster, dog. He is sweet. JJ, why? I wish he can go somewhere and get his Super Bowl. He deserves one. Mm-hmm. I feel but that. uh, yeah, Most Carolina of, Panthers. What have they done? Carolina Panthers, they were whack. They, they were sweet when they came in. They had a drought. Like they, had, they were sweet when Kerry Collins was the quarterback when they first got in the NFL. Then they had a drop off for a long ass time. And then, still, hmm? and still. No, no. Then, then, uh, what's my nigga? Superman came. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he did take him to the bowl. Okay. Took him to the bowl. Yeah. They got sweet, and then yeah. you know. He got injured and shit like that, so they fell off. So they you give him time. Yeah, no, I forgot. No, he did, he did, he did. Saints used to suck for a long ass time until Drew got there. Saint, the Saints, yeah, they they dope. Chargers, yeah. nope, because Ladani and them got there. And Chargers, they they just they lost. got a lot of promise right now. They're doing better. Like they people do see not, yeah, a lot of too. shit in their future. So it's really Her- just like us, the Jets and the Jaguars. Yeah, Giants. No, Giants was sweet for a long time. They, Giants got two Super Bowl rings in the last twenty years over the great Tom yeah, Brady. So, yeah, so yeah, we out on that. <laughs> Giants good because mm, I don't you, know. Are you one of those people who think that um, Eli belong in the Hall of Fame? There you go. Off top, read my mind. How in the fuck not? Yeah. How? Listen, if everybody, because I'm indifferent. I, you know, I don't fuck with Tom Brady, but everybody want to say he the goat. He's the best QB, and I'm good. I'm I'm cool with it, right? Yeah, sometimes you just can't fight it. <clears throat> with, and, and and then I also you understand. Not my cup of tea either. I also understand the dynamic of they not going against each other per se because he going against his defense, he going against his defense. So I get that part too. This all I'm saying. Correct me if I'm wrong, but both times them niggas that nigga beat him, it was because of a game. It, it was a game winning drive. By fucking Eli Manning. And correct me if I'm wrong, he only lost three Super Bowls and two of them was to Eli, right? Two of them. Out of the two he lost, it's, it belonged to the same nigga. Yeah. And the other one belonged to, uh, yeah, it belonged Nick to Nick Foles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. So it's like, how y'all not going to put this? He in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, we, done, a, we done talking. Yeah. We yeah. done talking. When you Long talk time. about Tom Brady and his losses, you got to talk about how a nigga gave him two. Off game winning drive. It wasn't like it was defensive plays well, that won them those games. Well, it was the Giants his offense. Had great defense in both they, of those games. I'm That's with how it. They stayed in it. I'm with but, it. But but I mean, even though to that, win the game, it was Eli Manning. Two Super Bowl rings off top because be, some be, of my great like my nigga Brett Favre. I love him. He ain't got two Super Bowl rings. Did he yeah. got one. He got one. Okay. He was supposed to get another one, but the motherfucking Broncos hold him. But uh, yeah, man, like. Yeah, he got two Super Bowl rings against the team. greatest. So shout out to the Broncos. What, bitch? The Lions never gave me nothing to live for. I've always liked the Broncos. Well, damn, but don't try to hold my nigga. John I... Elway, Shannon Sharp, let's go. Mm. Let's go. Terrell Davis is over there too, right? Terrell Davis is definitely over let's there. Let's go. And Ed McCaffrey. Let's go. Yep, Ed McCaffrey. Let's go. NFL game. And they had day. a nice ass black wide receiver. I forgot. NFL two game. Of them. They taught me all of them niggas. <laughs> Oh, that's fucked up. Didn't I, I didn't watch football. I mean, the like Lions I said, never yeah, gave me a I, reason like to watch I said, football. I was a Packers so fanatic. it was just it was just playing games with with you know with the homies with my guy brothers, uh, my friends and shit. So niggas would be that I think it was on PlayStation. Word. It was NFL game day, and I was like, man, fuck that. I've heard of this nigga John Elway. I'm playing with him. Mm. And I just fell in love. Yeah. Didn't know what I was doing. Didn't know who was who. Didn't know what a tight end was. I only knew what a wide receiver was. Like my older niggas that catch the ball. <laughs> oh man, you was a little girl. Wait, no, I didn't, didn't know. Do that. I didn't, I didn't know because I told you not to do that. <laughs> I didn't know. Like I thought both of them was running backs. I didn't know one was like a fullback and the other one was like a halfback. Mm-hmm. I I just understand that shit. I only watch I watch basketball. 
So no, I wasn't a little girl, bitch. <laughs> I just didn't fuck with football. First of all, because the Lions women was love trash. football too, so that's why I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, you, know you know shouldn't have. But I get this. No, no, I get no, no, the, no, no, no. Don't but do I, that, though, my nigga. I'm just saying, I get Both the sentiment. Y'all, but don't hey, man, do that, fuck all nigga. the 2020 shit. I get because you okay. was the one. Yeah. Cor- Everybody love Cor- you. Blacks love basketball. I was about to say. Yeah, you got damn right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Get that nigga a bucket of chicken. <laughs> he said you got. Where's the chicken right. at? With some hot sauce. Oh shit! We are just going through all other stereotypes right now. Well, bring me some watermelon. Niggas when love I'm done. chicken and basketball. Huh? And watermelon. Bring oh. me some. <laughs> oh, that's a great day. I'm sorry. Like, look, look, like look, his nigga has said it's a great day. If a white nigga wanted to hold me by giving me a bucket of chicken <laughs> and a, and some beer, like what is that? Forty? Is that what they think we like? Of 40, yeah, 40 and some and, and some tickets to a basketball game, bitch. That's heaven. Like you can laugh at me all you want to, but I'm loving every fucking moment of that shit. And then to top it off, when we get back in the car, hey bro, I don't know if you want some, but here's some watermelon. Yes, bitch. Why the fuck you didn't offer me this in the beginning? Like watermelon, beer, and basketball and chicken. That's not a great day. And chicken. And chicken. Like, oh, I love chicken. Like, do, do you think they sell watermelon in some of the down south? Uh, stadiums and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't. That's delicious. I'm just curious. No, I mean, you know, man, let me watermelon, see. chicken, and grits. Shout out to Little Chris. You know, like watermelon, like this watermelon at the stadiums. At what you eating at? The, that's what you eating when you out of the barbecue. Yeah, they did. That's what you eating when but you out of the barbecue. But they made a song. That ice cream truck was a racist song, and y'all love ice cream, but y'all was still getting that ice cream. Well, nobody knew that until just now, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? Why y'all didn't know that? Do your research. Stop dancing. Bitch, you ain't song. never knew that shit until fucking the last Bitch, two years ice ago. Cream. This nigga trash. You said what? <laughs> What's not in the history book about the ice cream truck uh, and how it was on, y'all? N- nigga wants a watermelon. Nobody knew that's what the fucking, <laughs> that, that was the lyrics. You think, kid? <laughs> get your watermelon. Get like, your watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> like you, Come like on, you, Negroes, get your watermelon. <laughs> like you think, you think kids are sitting there, and then they hear the they hear the ballot, and they're like, "Nigga wants a watermelon." Oh, it's ice cream time. How about this? Even if they heard the words and they still had ice cream, you think them kids go sit down and not want some ice cream still? No, they wouldn't know no better, nigga. They was kids. Okay, so still give me some ice cream. You wouldn't know till you was about 12, 13. Then you think it would be funny. Then when you get about 14, 15, you start realizing that shit is wrong. Yeah, that fucked me up when somebody tried to teach me that and I seen that video. Get your watermelon. Get your watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> All them motherfuckers came to get their watermelon, though. Like, what the fuck? That's horrible. We should have talked about this, like, around June, Juneteenth or whatever the fuck. The, oh, with the fat-ass lips? Yeah. Well, Black as hell. Get your water about him. Get You're right about water. that. <laughs> no, we talk about it every day. We're going to go outside and fight a white man. <laughs> what? Any kind of fruit. <laughs> it could be a banana. What you trying to say, nigga? So, <laughs> oh, if it's a banana, that's oh, worse. Oh, yeah, that's even worse. That ain't too on the fight the Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> banana, that's probably the worst one. Cause ice cream I don't know why we, we are progressing in life. We are, man. It's just a lot of shit just keep coming up. <laughs> you hear? But speaking of progressing, you you remember that uh, one of them Cyrus bitches. One of them Cyrus bitches. Yeah, you know Bill Ray Cyrus, huh? Is no, the younger one. I don't know. I don't Hayden, know her name. Noah. <laughs> oh yeah, well How Noah. That bitch was talking about Candace of. Uh, Harris, whatever the bitch name is. Candace Owens. Her, yes. <laughs> and was like, you know, he doing it was something about uh she was trying to she was trying to have this white man's back for doing a fucking in vogue photo with a dress on. And Candace was like, you know, oh, yeah. we need men to be strong and this shit is yeah, whack. Seen and that then, shit. That and shit then is Noah whack. came out of nowhere like well, he's still doing better than you nappy head in pictures or something like that. Oh, I did see that. <laughs> she had to, oh, so that was her. Yeah. I did see that, though. And then they she said. Had, she uh, tried to say. What'd she say? What'd she, she, she say nappy she, was? She said nappy. Oh, what is. Oh, sleepy. She said. She thought that meant there was some sleepy girls. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Oh, my God. Well, they say uh, the word nap. Or nappy is something a white person just can't say. And I just think that's funny as fuck. Like, they're not, like, it does sound funny if I hear a white person like, nappy headed girl. Like, I know it sounds bad, but really, white people can't say the word nappy? Like, that's fucked up. Listen, bro. this is, this is the thing I, this is the thing I learned, right? Cause you go and you see, uh, 
you, you see the products and you know the CVS's or the beauty supplies or whatever. Mm-hmm. It'll be like detangler. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I started to realize. I say, oh, so for white bitches is detangler for mm-hmm. for or it's my hair is tangled. <laughs> for black bitches, my hair is nappy. I'm like, in my head, if you can't run a comb through it, all oh, that's nappy. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. Tell me, oh, my hair's so tangly. Oh, because <laughs> oh, your hair nappy. <laughs> they weren't going for that word and, nappy. And your hair that. nappy. <laughs> that's your horrible. But God damn it, that bitch is a liar. And whoever told her to say that should be fired. <laughs> so mm. I thought that meant sleepy. sleepy. Dog, that shit blew my mind. <laughs> did, she, did she say nappy head? Yeah, something like nappy. So, oh, so no, so, no, no, no. I don't know. So yeah, look it up where I go. What's her name? Cyrus. Says nappy, yeah, nappy. <laughs> That's all I got. Noah Cyrus, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Noah Cyrus, sister of Miley, yeah. Had no clue when I seen this shit. Let me just say, or where it's at? Where it's at? Because I need this. Any one of woke liberals care to explain how Noah how Noah Cyrus calling me a nappy ass hoe is not racist? I'm all ears. I don't know why she gave her. I don't know why she gave her some 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 uh some shit for us to get on her side about. Like, God damn it! Yeah, I mean, come on, man. She was she was side already side. cut because she been cutting up and we been having to say shit to her. And now it's like, oh, God damn it! Now we gotta have your back. I'm trying to see the original thing. Said nappy asshole. So sleepy asshole. Yo, yo, sister. You was making music with Mike Will Maiden and the boys. She was saying some off the wall racist shit too, and like you know, when when she was saying that she what rap represents and shit. Cool, Miley Cyrus. Yeah. When the, After what the was fact that? that she made man, what they clowned her for that shit when she went back to country music and shit. They was like, oh, so you fuck with the niggas when your career going down the drain and shit, and you twerking. Now you saying that rap represents crime and. And disrespectful shit. Yeah, nigga. That bitch went off. Hell no. Nah. The only nigga that's doing right is the daddy. Doing it with that gay rapper. Well, not doing it, but, you know, making that song with that gay rapper. Nas X. <laughs> gay rapper Nas X? Yeah, that's his name now. Oh, she called it lewd. <sighs> Same shit. Well, how about this? Talking about she denounced hip hop for its superficial and vulgar lyrics. And this bitch was this bitch. and her ass and titties all yeah, on, on, on a basketball rim. On her own. Dog, like what? Like, Trying to re- rejuvenate her career because her shit was going down the drain. Wow. At the Hannah Han- Montana. Talking about Miley Cyrus now thinks rap is too explicit and wants wants Trump voters to give her a chance. That was in 2017. I'm just reading dumb ass shit. I'm like, who done? <laughs> So what, is you know what? I, I got a pet peeve though. So we talking about we was talking about the hair and shit, the nappy and shit. It made me start thinking about how black women hate to see white women in braids. Oh, but, I have seen that. I but, have seen that. <laughs> but black bitches or black women, some of them, they they like to wear that blonde hair. They will do blonde hair. So, so how that? What's go? the difference? Yeah, I don't know. I'm with you. I'm with you. Like that, I don't understand why a white girl can't have braids. If anything, it don't look sweet who, on them, on who, most of them. Who, I mean, yeah. It, like, and like if it, and if all of them can't do it. Good job. And all of them can't do it because they hear it like it's just, it's just too yeah, fucking slick. Yeah, too yeah. Rapunzel. Mm-hmm. So, they don't have enough nap in their shit. Yeah, so it's okay. So the Man, ones that. Like, that blow my mind. Like, one, <laughs> it don't look sweet for most of them. Look, just like black women with blonde hair. That we shit don't draw, look sweet to me. We though. drawn a line on hair. Like, I got a whole, one of my homies, uh, my nigga. He showed up to school, high school. He got a he had a fro. <laughs> he had a white fro. Yeah, he had a fro. Was he yeah. Jewish? Uh, he might be. I don't, I don't think. He's, no, no, he ain't Jewish. Sometimes. No, he ain't, but I'm just saying. No, his hair was like blind, he, man, and he had a fro. And then he started getting it braided. And I asked him, I was like, "You should be staying." He was like, "No, not for that long." So it didn't stay for that long. But right, right. I was never like, "Oh, you trying to be black?" Like if anything, I'm like, "Oh, you trying to be Iverson?" Like that's. That's all I thought well, Braze was. You know, Braze was yeah, Iverson. He was for taking me. over pop culture, so I mean, shit. Braze ain't never been black, white. Ver- I just thought white people couldn't do it because they never did it. Yeah. Now they doing it, and it's like y'all want to get upset. I don't know about that because you're right. The blind hair, the the coloring of your hair. 
Mm-hmm. Like I grew up, and I went to I was I, I went to school in the city. I ain't see no girls <laughs> coloring their hair. I start going to school in the suburbs. I see green, orange, purple. I, I start seeing all kind of. That's shit. definitely like a punk rock type. Shit. I'm with but it. It started there, I think. I'm though, with it, but now you see is you see us women. They got braids, but they got blue in it. Mm-hmm. A hard ass blue. Uh, like yeah, not green. even a little subtle, just a little yeah, bit. Nigga, hard, you know, hard red, hot pink. Like that shit just crazy. So yeah, right. looking like the girls of the night and shit. So and I and, and I ain't saying as uh. You know, black women got older, they didn't start coloring their hair because they would, the red, the blonde. Little streaks in it, though. Ain't and it? I'm with it. But yeah. see, white people, <laughs> apparently, white parents, they wasn't tripping on their kids for they wanted to color their hair a little bit. Right, right. Saw that, like, white bitches, they was doing that shit, nigga, eighth, seventh, sixth grade, nigga. Like, yeah. probably not that young, maybe, though. But, like, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, they was already coloring their hair. So it's like, everybody does. Something from each side. Let's they not. They call it culture vulturing. They say that the white people how. taking over, trying to get our culture and shit. But like white black women, y'all be having blonde hair. The white Where people y'all get that from. The white people mad of, of, about all the mixed babies. Oh man, <laughs> they upset about it. So I don't. Uh, come on, man, stop. I it. think, but that's a black team. Well, black people get mad about that shit too. Because black women get mad about men dating white women to create these mixed babies. I guess so. I don't understand so, that. I, I think they just met at the after effect. <laughs> like, you know. If they Do they be mad at other black women that's not African American, though? What you mean? Like, African American with African American. They're like, ugh, don't be, don't be out here having mixed babies. So, like, I can't, you can't have a mixed baby with a Jamaican, a Haitian, a straight African, uh, who else is just like black? She's my nationalities and shit? Mm hmm. Well, I don't think that's the Because you're still mixed. You mixed. You, you nationality mixed, but you're not. No, nah, if 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 my full blood is this and your full blood is this, that means you have me have this. Do African American women get but upset? But it's racist, though. Race no, and nationalities no, is two different no, things. No, 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 no. I mean. You thinking about it as far as race? White people is a whole gumbo mixture of a bunch of shit. I don't think <laughs> white people are mad that a but a, they mad a that Irishman they, is they just mad fucking a Jamaican. They're mad no, that no, a no, white no, man no, no, is no, fucking no. a black woman. I'm with it. So why we not drawing a line with other nationalities so that will mix the race so because want... it's mixing the race at the end. Of, it's, it's 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 it's. It's not just straight this it's no more. It's mixing the nationality. It's still fi- no. It's no. It's bringing they, us together. It's still fifty fifty split though. If 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 black go have sex with white, then you fifty percent African American, fifty percent whatever the white person is. But if the African American go have sex with a full blooded Jamaican, then you fifty percent African American, you fifty percent Jamaican. If you, you go say. have sex with a full blooded Haitian, you fifty percent African American, fifty percent Haitian. That's still. Mixing the culture, but what I'm saying is, is this, that okay, or is the other? Shit, if if let's is it is it just because of black white? If there's some black, because I'm I, I got a little bit of Irish in me. I've Shut up. Been told I'm, I'm just telling the facts. You care about that part? So we're gonna say that it's it, it is black people in Ireland. Is it a lot? Maybe not, but black people have settled in Ireland. Let's say that, right? So 50 50 split there, a black Irish person than an African American. No, no. What I'm saying is this. I don't think a white person would see a black Irishman and see a white Irish woman and be like, all right, that's cool because they're both from Ireland. They're going to look at that white man and that black lady or whatever way I just said. Whatever his, whatever his heritage is. And then, so, you, so yeah, they're mm-hmm. going to see the, it's just a color thing. It's, that's all it is. That's all they give a fuck about. Well, I get that part. I'm asking why. Because <laughs> they're racist. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, why you... Is, They're not it's, nationalists. It's more, it's, more so. like a, it's more like a colorist thing. Yeah. Because you're not mad at other races that's the same color as you. You mad at the you mad at the races that's not the same you're color. You mad at the nationality. You you want them to be mad at the nationalities. I don't think you understand what you're saying. I don't think you understand what you're saying. What is what is what is a nationality? What? I'm asking you. How you don't know? I was just asking you to give me like the definition. How about you break it down so I can show you how you can't un- comprehend. <laughs> Go ahead. Cause yeah, go look it up. Since cause I know what I'm talking about. I'm good. I just look up the word race and look up the word nationality. And you will see. 
the difference. The status of belonging to a particular nation. There you go. A ethnic group forming a part of one or more political nations. All the main nationalities of Ethiopia. So, yeah. So, so we you're all saying, can... So you're saying race. So Jamaican is a race. Yeah. Black. Oh, that's that new thing. That's that new thing. Yeah. You get it? No, because that's that new thing. Because why is it Hispanic? <laughs> it's some Dominicans. They're that's, brown. It's some They're Dominicans. The they, they will all fit in the browns. No, that's no, how no. it go, dog. No, all Asians no, will go no, to no. yellow. <laughs> like that's just, that's just how it go, man. It's just how it go. It's just how it go. I'm not the leader of this shit, but I'm just telling you. Like I said. Nigga, if you had a, like, do you really think, do you really think a black man from Ireland and a white woman from Ireland could get together and people in Ireland be like, oh, that's cool. We've yeah. seen Joe McJo Mc McCornery grow up his whole life and we was cool with it. Like, he still like basketball. Like, they still going to hold that nigga because he a nigga. Like, they don't want, they don't want to mix with that. They don't, no, nah, man. It's colors, bro. Colors. It's white people in Jamaica. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's white people in Africa. It is. South Africa. There you go. So, nigga, that's mm -hmm. all they care about. They care about race. You remember the little Dave Chappelle funny race war shit, nigga? Yeah. They don't just care about, uh... Oh, you from Mexico. Oh, you from... You from Portugal. Like, nigga, no, it ain't that. Nigga, like, they not fighting that hard. That's too... Nigga, dog, hell no. <laughs> that's that's too far, bro. You going too far, man. 50% African-American, 50% Mexican. Why do you want to just put it on the map like that? Because you still, you're still <laughs> like, mixing the race. You not mixing the race, bro. Yeah, you is. Dog, no, you not. When that person says it, they got to say they're African-American... Puerto Rican. I'm a Puerto Rican African American. That's what you is. They don't say on a paper, are you African American? They don't say, they say, are you African American or white? They don't care about. Or Hispanic. They don't care. You got to select both. Yes, you don't pick Mexico, you don't pick United States, and we don't pick Africa. <laughs> nigga, we pick, nigga, we, we pick, pick African American. Yes, because we're black. That's how they want to say black. And then they say white. There's no, no, white no, in no, there. no. They got to say black now because everybody not African American. And everybody who white is Jamaican. not from America. Some people are Haitian. Some people are uh, straight African. Yeah. So you got to put black. So, all right, how about this? How about this? How about this? Nobody says I'm 50%. Uh, no, nobody, nobody says uh, I'm a his. I'm a Hispanic African American. I got a better for you. I got one better for you. They say exactly what the they full is. The full-blooded Jamaican who comes to get a job in America. When he sees white, black, Af or African American, it say black or African American. Yeah, or but he still got to put. Didn't say that at first. He still got to put his name with the blacks. Or maybe it did, and I ain't read it. But he still got to put his name with the blacks. He's still with the blacks. But, <laughs> They're but gonna black, find a way. But black is not a race. <laughs> not, you gotta, you get that right. White is not a race. <laughs> All right, man, but it is though. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm at with it. It's like, I'm looking at it right now. It's talking about cultures and shit. Yeah. Like, no, man. Dog. It's no, nigga. Yes, nigga. When the race war comes, the black, dog, the they're not going to split the blacks with the Jamaicans. We all come together and we going to fight the white man. Wherever that white man comes from, bro. <laughs> New Zealand, Canada. Saskatchewan, it don't matter where this white man from, the blacks <laughs> will come together and fight the whites. That's how it go. The Asians, if they want to get some, they can too. <laughs> they want to get some. The Browns better come with us, cause we'll, you know, <laughs> we'll treat them right. But yeah, man, that's a, you got me fazzed up. I want to fight a white man right now. <laughs> if you don't got no watermelon for it, nigga. When I turn 21, I'ma be chillin' in Dubai Bows of that cookie, buddy said he need seven five. It ain't shit to cut you niggas out like a slice of pie I ain't graduating when we shoot for the cap, no gown I was in the back, just loving up the 50 rounds